Hey guys, welcome back to Backyard Basic Garage. Uh, today we're going to be doing some water block off plates. It's supposed to be the uh, heat delete or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I got some uh, those heater block off plates for the for the heat and all that. So after this, toy is basically going to be a summer only vehicle. So yeah. Um, I did something pretty bad, which I'm going to probably show you in a little bit. I tried putting this in, as you can see. Frost threaded it under this. It was going in perfectly straight, so I don't know what the hell was wrong with there. If that was a, uh, it's supposed to go in there, so I don't know what the hell is going on. Anyways, we're gonna put on the. We're gonna put on this one, which goes here. And there's one that goes down here. Right there, and then same thing, basically right back here. So we're gonna do that. Hopefully, I get a good angle for you guys. So I don't know. Are these all see LCE on it, really. I kind of wish these said LCE on it too, but I guess they don't. Okay guys, I took, I did not run, I did not want to record any of this because it's actually pitching me off a little bit. But, uh, pretty sure I got everything that I need. I had to do a few welds to the heater thing because the, the L piece that you guys saw me um, show you guys. Uh, yeah. I had to uh, buy the kit everybody says that if you use you're having a bad day so this is the L piece that I was trying to use I had a I remade the threads on it and didn't go go so good so I took the other one off the other plate I I squashed it down and I welded the very like end of it I'll show you guys um that's what I did and I filled up the radiator nothing sleeping as of yet uh, yeah everything's back together everything's here we got everything on besides the fan um, still got to time it gonna switch over to the hero 3 plus because we're gonna start we're actually gonna crank it to get the oil and stuff moving then we're gonna crank it then we're gonna see if we can uh, See if anything's leaking, then if not, then we're going to see if we can time it, get the timing right on it.
So guys, um, right now, well, sorry, right now, we, Continuous recording will now start. there you go, right now we are going to give Toy a little, um, road test to see how it's going and all that, so, uh, let me put you on my head and let's go give it a test. guys heard that but when I went to go mat it it leaned right out Let's run down what happened. Basically, when I did that, I matted it, and as soon as it hit three, roughly 3,000 RPM, uh, it kind of popped, and it kind of like, like it was out of timing or something like that, I'm not too sure. But after I did that, I came back, I adjusted the, uh, the timing a little bit, I adjusted the, the idle a little bit, uh, I did that and as you saw I just did the pass and it didn't bog down or did that before and the the cooling it was staying like right above the the white mark for the cold so that 160 that I put in was actually pretty damn good so all that and the, the AFR gauge was reading at complete max throttle between 10 and 13 and might go down a little bit more and when I'm idling or like I'm just idling going down the road it goes up to 160 150 maybe it, it goes from like 147 
to what into the 150 range and then like 153 ish so I tried looking for the mixture screw and I couldn't find it at all it looks like this carb doesn't have a mixture screw which it should so I'll look for that see if I can mixture it so it's running really what clean or will that be rich I'm not too sure comment down below which one's which <laughs> I don't know it um but anyways I'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos anyways guys see you next video